Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the January 2000 um, paper 2 question on memorandum. I'm also going to be doing an additional feature to this video by changing this memorandum into the indented style once it is typed. And my reason for doing this is because I have tri I've been trying to find past papers that deals with both blocked and indented style memorandum. However, I have not been able to find any that looks at the indented style memo. And so I am going to be doing this one according, um, according to the layout that is stipulated, which is a block style. But then when I'm through with that, I'm going to change it into the indented style for you to see how it should look once it is complete. Right? So that if you go into your EVPN exam and you get an indented style memorandum to type, you have an idea of what it should look like. Although I have done videos on this as well. All right, so here we go. It says, type the following memo to Frank James, local manager, concerning selection and training of staff. Use today's date and the reference TFI slash two. It is not too early to outline the criteria for, let me go up a bit closer, and zoom in as the writing back then was not so properly visible. All right, it is a lot better now, so you don't have to worry about your exam. It says, it is not too early to outline the criteria for, and this is hiring and it's crossed out, so we're not using that. I'm also seeing selecting and it's crossed out, but it has some dashes under it. And when I look into the margin, it says S-T-E-T, -E which means step. Right, and this is a manuscript sign, meaning to leave unchanged or to leave as is. So we're going to keep this word. So it should read the criteria for selecting staff for the new branch. Training for those people must also be planned and trainers, and I'm seeing something being inserted here, following the line, a bubble, identified. So that should be here. Trainers identified, and this is crossed those so who are not using it, for that purpose, full stop. And this symbol here, right, means new paragraph, all right? So it says, a major area of concern, and I'm following the line again with this word, in our country is the low level of customer service. This plus sign means and. Customer relations at most of our, not using this, stores will stop. We should aim to be different and project the image that we care. Main sources for, not using retaining, but hiring with the lines under it. Again, it means debt to leave unchanged. So we are keeping it. So main sources for hiring trainers are, and we see three things here. And I'm following this bracket with a line. The line says T, meaning typist. Please insert. All right. And insert is something that you need to know how to do. I've done a video on the difference between insert and enumeration. I can link it here for you to see what that is all about. All right. And so it says we should insert this. Means that we should take it in at 0 0.5 inches in single line spacing. All right, so we're seeing under the O for our uh, two lines. And two lines under letter or word means that that word should be in upper. Well, if it's under letter, it means that the letter should be in uppercase. And if it's under a word, it means that that entire word should be in all capital letters. And if I look into the margin here, I see UC, which means uppercase. So our main branch in Trinidad, and the same for the T in Trinidad, regional and the LY is um, crossed out. So regional training groups, lecturers from the local college. And you realize everything has a line on um, double line under it. So all these should be capital capital letters. It says we must ensure that the cost of this training package falls well within our budget and TH. All right, so you it can th can mean anything, but you are going to read it in the sentence to see what it is, and the budget that it shows. It can't be the it shows. All right, so it must be that, and um, the abbreviation for that in manuscript 
is TH. If it was a T by itself, then that would mean B. So the budget, our budget, and that it shows early results. There will, of course, also be ongoing, and I'm seeing um, the transposition sign here, so it means that whatever is here should be on this side, and whatever is on this side should come over. So it should read, also be ongoing training on the job. All right, and that is it. Now you realize that at the end of this manuscript, I'm seeing from. Remember, we're doing a memorandum, and this is from the executive managing director. All right? And so we will have to ensure that we read through the entire thing before we see this. Well, right? So you're always expected to read through the entire document before you start your typing. Okay. So now that we have gone through the memo, I'm just going to open Microsoft Word and get to our typing. All right, so first and foremost, I'm going to be doing my preliminaries. All right, no spacing. And once I select no spacing, I'm going to select Times New Roman font size 12. All right, so now that I've done this, I'm going to split my screen and start my typing. Alright, so I'm going to widen this a bit. Not too much. And then take it over and widen this. So, you know that a memorandum should start with the word memo. So, even if the question doesn't tell you to type it, you are expected to type it. All right, because that is a mark. So it's normally in all capital letters, M-E-M-O. All right, and um, can be, well, I've seen it go up to font size 16. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to put it in bold. All right, so that's that. So I'm going to go back to times, well, it's on times in Roman, font size 12, and take off the bold. All right, so how do you says type the following memo to Frank James? So I'm gonna have two. All right. Oh no colon because it's a block the block style. I'm gonna press over tab a bit. I right, let me do it twice and then I type the name of the person. So it is Frank James. Now we can I have always been teaching you to put the name of the person beside, but for this, I'm showing you that it can also go below, all right? Because remember that we do not use punctuations in the blocked style. So a good way of typing without using the punctuations, because here we see in the question, there's a comma. We don't need that, all right? And so a good way to type without using the punctuation is to put the type um, the position of the person on the domain. All right, so that's that in single line spacing. All right, so it's to Frank James, double space, and I'm going to write from. Who was it from again? I'm going to go to the bottom section of this executive managing director, and they didn't give us a name, so it is there. Executive Managing Director. I weren't given a name. It says to from reference. So I'm going to use REF for reference. And they said that a reference should be TFI. That looks like an I. Slash two. Double space again. Then we have the date. And we should use today's date. Uh, because this is from January um, 2000, I'm just going to use that. So it will be, and I'm assuming a date, so I'm going to say 23rd. And note that my date is now being written in the block style format, which is day, month, year. Jan, January 2000. All right. And um, what comes after that? The subject. So we normally write the word subject for the block style, all right? 
and the subject is concerning, so it says that this memo is concerning selection and training of staff, so that would be my subject. Alright, selection, I'm going to put my subject in all capital letters, as well as I do not have to, alright, but I'm going to SU selection, oh. selection and Training of staff. All right, so you do not have to didn't specify, so you do not have to. It can be in initial caps and bold or initial caps and underline. All right, so we have everything there. So the next thing that we need to do now is to have a triple space. One, two, three. So you enter three times and then the third you start your typing. So it says it is not too early. to outline the criteria criteria for I'm going to zoom out a bit all right it may be very fine and blurry to you but I have to do that so I'm just going to talk a lot so you can hear what it is that I'm saying for selecting staff for the new for the new branch all right um training two spaces after full stop okay training for those people must also be planned And the trainers identified for that purpose. And as you're typing, you will be able to see some things that are underlined that maybe you did not spell out properly or maybe incorrect. All right, so you fix it as you go along. So this should be selecting for the for the. So I left off the H here. And you fix it because you lose marks for incorrect spelling, incorrect um, punctuation, inserting things that should not be there, leaving out things that um, should be, etc. Alright? So purpose. The next sentence said, or oh, new paragraph, a major, so double space, uh, major area. major area of concern in our country is the low level of customer service All right, remember I said that this plus sign means and right so and customer relations At most of our stores. All right, two spaces. We should aim to be different. To be different and project the image that we care. Here, full stop. Main sources main sources for hiring trainers are all right, so I'm gonna put a double space and note we should do what they call an inset with these three information here. Alright, they have a dash 
So I'm going to press dash, two spaces. Afterwards, I'm going to pull them in at 0 0.5. Or I could tab, that will take me to 0 0.5 and put my dash and then start my typing. All right, one, so it says over, name branch. Our main branch in Trinidad, tab over again, dash, put my space, regional training groups, and finally, tab again, and this is an inset, all right, I'm going to add the link for you to see this. Lecturers. Yeah. There's lecturers from the local college. Lecturers from the local college and I will do my spacing. And next paragraph, we are we must okay, ensure that the cost of this training package falls well within our budget, falls well Within our budget, and that it shows that it shows early results. Early results. All right, two spaces. There will come up, of course, also be ongoing. Training on the job on dash on the job. Oh, oh, it's one word. If you realize here that the dashes are crossed out, All right? So it's on is on space on the job. All right, and that is it. I right, so I'm just going to undo window side by side and focus on the letter itself. All right, so here we go. So it's a triple space, should be between the word memo and um, the information. So I'm just going to enter one more time to get two spaces between. That is my triple space. All right, um, two, and everything here is properly aligned as you can see. All right, it says two from ref date subject. Triple space after subject and the information is written, everything it's block style, and so everything is there at 0 0.5 inches. Let me do my invisible line for you to see it. Right. If you can see, that's where my dashes start, right here. All right? That's where they start. And then um, the rest of the information is there. Let me just take off my top stop. All right. And that is it. So that's my memo in the block style. As I said to you that I'm going to do another feature to show you how to do this memo in the indented style, all right, if in case you are given it in the exam. And because I can't find any um, indented style memo, I'm just going to transform this to show you how it would look. All right, so let's go. So it's to, from, so I'm going to put ref, see if I can drag it. Save me some time, all right, and tap it over. All right, so here you have ref, and then the date. I'm going to put it in the same line as the from information and tap it over. All right, I don't want it too wide, I had done it um, wide before because the subject was there. Right, so it doesn't have to be so wide. Right, it doesn't have to be so wide. 
All right, so that is it. The word lemma should now be in the center. All right, and the subject should come up double space. But the word subject we do not use for the indented style. All right, let me put the information to the left. You're going to highlight it and you're going to put it in the center. All right, there you have it. Um, triple space after. Your paragraphs will now be indented. All right. For this paragraph, I could have taken it up and tab. All right, but um, I prefer doing it like this double space between, and then you can see the paragraphs. All right, and tab. So that is it. Or you transform this block style memo in the indented style. And finally, the date carries a specific form. It says January. 23 comma space 2000 full stop all right let's go again so the heading will be in the center there's a triple space after it let me show you my show height it should be two show heights no spaces between them likewise after the subject here all right so it is a triple space then you have your information at the top all right in the heading so two from and a double space between them all right, you'll have a wider space here because local manager is on this side, but nothing is on this side for reference. All right, after that, you have a double space. You have your subject heading, all right, which can also be in, let me show you. It doesn't have to be in all caps and it's based on what you're given in the exam. All right, I did not give a specific way to write mine. And so that is why I have it in that manner. And then I'm going to bold it, all right. Then I have a triple space after, then my, all my paragraphs are indented. Now, this is an inset, and so it is always at 0 0.5 inches, all right, irrespective of the format that you're using. Realize that is here for the indented style, and it was at the same place for the block style, all right, and my paragraphs are indented. And that is it. Thank you all. Oh, luckily I did not end the video. The next thing is that I need now need my colons. Indented style carries the columns, block style does not. All right, so luckily I saw this. All right, so that is it. All right, so thank you all very much for watching. Do hope you learned something here today. Wish you all the best as you prepare for your examination. If you have any question, let me know. All right, um, do hope you try this question as well. Um, let me know in the comment section below how it turned out for you. And just give the video a big thumbs up if it is that you like what you saw here today. Share it with someone because all you guys doing CSEC at this time need to practice. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what is stopping you? All right, go ahead and subscribe. All right, so thank you very much for watching and see you in my next upload as I try each and every time to make EDPM simple.